Hey guys, um, I just want to show that the PS Vito YouTube app isn't necessarily entirely useless. You can still watch videos with the YouTube app. However, it is pretty much the same as using a browser. The only real reason why I want to do this is maybe for like bragging rights. Or just a reason to keep this app on your eye on your PS Vita. But anyway, all you do is you launch the PS Vita app is you launch the PS Vita's YouTube app. Right? Now of course you have to still have it. You can still download it if you had it before. You can download it by going to your download disk, which is available in the PS store. Alright, I'm clicking on here and just download this. If you download it before, you should be able to find it in here. I was able to and I was very surprised it was still in my download disk. But as you can see, right there, YouTube, and I can show you download it. And that's how I got it on this video. But anyway, um, in order to do this, all you need to do to be able to watch videos of this is obviously you can't use the app so no. So that's why I say it's basically like using a browser, but you click on this, you click, you click on here, then you go settings, and then you go terms and privacy policy. And it should open a YouTube link, and it's the terms and privacy policy link. You just want to tap up here. And now you are technically not using a browser, right? Right, this is the um browse in the app browser, I believe it's called. Right, and you can like you can actually watch videos of this and something very strange happens when you go to watch a video. So I should just look up a popular video like ASDF movie or something. ASDF movie. Uh, let's just click on the video, right? And when you go to play a video, this really strange thing happens where it like tries to close it, but then still manages to like play the video. Right? And the video does play, it's just gonna, it's gonna take a while, but. Got your nose! Yeah, see, so it does actually play the video. And another interesting thing is it only ever does that the first time. Every other time you try and play a video with this past the first time you do it, where it like does that real closing animation, it won't um it won't close it won't do the closing animation again. It also doesn't actually close anything. How except for when you exit out, the YouTube app is suddenly closed. When before if you had exited out while you were in there. I'll go show you, I'll go do the, the um, strange thing again, right? If you hadn't started the video yet, right when you went in here. Alright, yeah, like right here, if you were just on here and hadn't kicked on the video, exiting out would, would not close the app. So when you click on it, it looks like it closes the app, but the app, but the thing still stays open until you hit the PS button. And it's just overall very glitchy, and I don't think it's supposed to happen. In fact, I don't think you're supposed to use this uh, little in-app browser thingy to watch videos. I get the feeling this was completely accidental. And before anyone even asks... No, you cannot do a PSGM codium open call with this, or anything like that. You cannot use this to open package install and or anything. I have already tried. It did not work, sadly, because I was kind of hoping it would. That way I could be the finder of a new way of running package install on the Vito. However, <laughs> unfortunately, when I kicked the ink, it took me to the ink, and I was like, yes. Like, I clicked on it, and I clicked on the link that would apparently open package install, and it just said, you cannot find the application that you specified, which is what it always says whenever it's been patched. So, yeah, you can't run the package install through this in-app browser thingy, but 
you can watch videos and see a very weird glitch when you watch videos of it. You're not, probably not supposed to be able to use that to watch videos. You're probably supposed to just use the normal browser for that. But, hey, it actually works. It's actually all weird when you do it. Anyway, that's about it for this video. It's a pretty quick video, only five minutes long. But, that's about it. Thanks for watching.